At the start, we have the Princess Grace Challenge Cup. It's the quadruple skulls with Hartbury University on the left-hand side and the Berkshire Station and Leander Club on the right-hand side and the Buckinghamshire Station. We've seen some great sculling races already in this Princess Grace Challenge Cup and uh, I'm hoping this is going to be another one as the crews more or less side by side here as they're coming towards the top of the island. Um, both quality crews, Hartbury University, look, they might have a slight lead, might be just go wandering off towards that um, their stroke side towards the bank but really just trying to stay tight tucked in there on their station and here we go Adrian top of the island stroke for stroke, stroke for bare stroke, ball for exactly. bare ball indeed this is this Leander crew the girls have been rowing in lots of different combinations during the summer different regattas and in doubles and coxes fours and I think it's the first time they're racing as a crew in a competition uh, whereas Hartbury University they were second in the championship quads at Marlow and also Henley women's was second in the time trial but had to withdraw due to illness so they missed out a chance to race at women's Henley maybe winning that event well hopefully they'll be able to be learning from each each race learning from each stroke as we see the Leander crew on the near side here as you say they haven't raced as a unit yet this year Catherine Maitland in the stroke seat she stroked the Oxford University women's blue boat uh, this season and she's laying down the rhythm here and they're just trying to start moving out you can see it's about a canvas and just now it feels like they're kind of moving every stroke as we see it from this angle and Catherine Maitland they're really if you look at the way her back is working as they pulls the handle she's really generating a lot of acceleration and he's really driven this quad into a nice rhythm that seems to have just moved out to about half the length of the last 20 strokes or so yeah i like what you're saying there that real connection and, and drive is moving this leander crew out here to half a length and now here we are well down the course of the mile post coming into really the last quarter of the race and that leander crew's managed to carry on moving yeah they've just got into something really sustainable haven't they and obviously there's quite a lot of power in that crew and they just managed to generate quite a lot of acceleration on the boat every stroke really good sculling here cost coach by ross hunter who's just taken over as the chief coach for the women at leander this year good job there rossi yeah it's great to see ross moving into into that coaching role and i hope he can keep leading this strong program forwards you see his, his quad sculling really nicely there at the bottom of the picture hartbury university a number of these are talent identified athletes part of the start program looking in the three seat eve wright she played netball for wales before coming across to rowing and now she says she's loving every moment of it well i hope she's loving this um, even though it's the tough part of the sport toughing it out through the tough part of the race yeah harper doing a great job on nature creating a bit of an environment for a, some future international athletes to get identified they can carry on their education get some good coaching and run some good crews and some of the girls coming out of this team out of harbury have made it to the british team so some of these girls might have a bright future ahead of them. And Leander here, two lengths maybe. Still having to keep work, they can't drop down the rate too much. They're still having to, but they've been kept honest as they come down towards the progress boards. Good sculling for both crews. Well, you can think about the potential in both these crews. That's where these girls are going to go as they continue with their sculling. But um, the potential is the next step is already turning into performance, really, for this Leander crew on the course. We're coming down here past the progress board in the final part of the race and uh, a great performance. It's been a great race and uh, they'll be going through to the next round tomorrow. Yeah, really good sculling from both crews here as the Leander crew crosses the finish line in this heat of the Princess Grace Challenge Cup. And Hartbury, almost two lengths. Good rowing from both crews. What a great race.